With the release of his third album, Side Effects, in September, Dallas Smith was not only building on his growth within the Canadian country music scene, but also celebrating a new milestone, with the album being his first full-length record release in the U.S. It's just one more milestone for the rising star, and although it's a big step, it's not one that forced him to play it safe when recording new material. I want a record that's pretty uh, interesting to listen to front and back and a little bit for everybody. So I think if you don't take that risk, that's just gonna, the record's gonna sound the same. The production's gonna sound the same, the energy of my voice is gonna sound, all the songs are just gonna sound the same. Different lyric content, different stories, but it kind of feels the same. So um, yeah, I think it's all about risk and that, uh, you know, balancing that risk versus reward. Can't go too far, but push it as far as you can. I saw your number on my phone. I said, yeah, I'm here alone. Unlike his first two albums that were recorded over the span of a couple of years, the new record, Side Effects, was completed, for the most part, over a two-week span. It was all in an effort to have the album released prior to Smith's opening dates with Keith Urban on his Canadian tour in September. I'm really, really excited to how this has turned out. and. My other records achieved, you know, good things for me, um, but this this one feels it feels really good coming out. Everybody's really excited about this record, and um, that definitely excites me to get this thing moving. Just Since entering the world of country music four years ago, Smith has had the opportunity to work and perform with some pretty big names, including Florida Georgia Line, Bob Seger, and most recently, Keith Urban. It seems like it's been such a long time since uh, we released somebody somewhere, but that's really only a little over four years ago. And I go from playing the little club in my hometown in Langley, BC, uh, testing these songs out just in front of friends and family, and now I got all my family up from the lower mainland and friends here in Kelowna coming up to Prospera Place to come watch me uh, play these and sing with Keith tonight. So that's only four years, man. I, I can't imagine if this thing goes for another four years, what's gonna happen, but I, I hope it keeps on that same trajectory. As he continues to grow as a country artist and build relationships within the industry, the former rock front man is hoping to dive into the world of writing in Nashville, which he admits is a much different process than it was when writing with default. We'd be sitting there in the garage drinking beer and hanging out and writing in that environment. And the Nashville way of writing is, I mean, some guys yes write like that, but you go down to Nashville, it's like you make an appointment, you're there nine to five. It's so foreign to me. I mean, I've been having so much fun putting these records together and playing a live show and being on the road. Um, it's, been, it's honestly been tough to sit down and get down to Nashville and actually sit down and get used to that way of writing. And, um, but I hope to a lot more in the future, yeah. The 38-year-old performer was excited to channel his inner Tim McGraw on the new album with one or two songs that offer a more traditional country sound than his past work. It's this willingness to step out of his comfort zone that he hopes will attract fans to the record. For more information about his new work, check out his website at dallassmithmusic.com. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna. Now.